Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our promotions tutorials, and we're going to get into a little bit more complicated, but not too much more, uh, because there's lots to show in here in promotions. I want to make sure I cover enough stuff that uh, you get the idea and you can sort of build into making more and more complex promotions. So this particular promotion is we're going to be adding 10% to the entire order with a certain coupon code. In the last tutorial, we just added free shipping with the coupon code. So this is different because it's a coupon on our products. However, it's still going to be a shopping cart price rule. So we'll click that shopping cart price rule. You can see our free 99 uh, coupon that we made here for the last tutorial. And now in here for our rule name, we're just going to call this 10% off. And uh, we're going to have it be for anybody. And we're going to have a specific coupon. And the coupon code, I'm not going to have it generate one because I like to come up with clever coupon names. Uh, so uh, this is not really even clever. It's just, uh, let's just say 10 spot. That's our our coupon code for 10% off. So here we have our coupon code just like before. Our customer groups is the same. Uh, rule name, we went over all this stuff last time. Uh, however, we're gonna say uh, uses per customer. We're gonna say the customer can only use this coupon ever once. Once they use it uh, with their account, they're no longer allowed to use this anymore. That way they can't spam 10% off and uh, use it a whole bunch of times. This is a one time only thing. And the uh, um, from date, we're just going to leave these blank. But the to date, we're going to say this coupon is only active until March 1st. And um, we don't have to worry about priority because I don't really care about uh, which order this gets put on. And uh, public feed RSS is fine. Uh, conditions, we want to say, uh, you know, if all these conditions are true, yeah, we like just like last time, we don't have to touch these conditions. However, next time we're going to be getting into uh, some of these conditions a little bit more. So uh, this one, just leave the conditions blank just like last time. And the discount of the amount is a percent of the product price discount. So that's what we're going to use this time. And we're going to say it's 10%. Okay. And then now we don't have to uh, do anything else. It's not free shipping. Uh, we don't have to apply shipping amount or anything. All right and it's all good okay so let's save this and let's go to our home page and let's add something to our cart if we don't have something in there already yeah it looks like we don't i'm gonna go to electronic sub phones okay i'm just gonna add this nokia phone to my cart and let's apply our coupon which was 10 spot and i'm gonna apply coupon here Supply this thing and we now have our 10% discount as you can see it rounds up So it's you know 14.99.99. It's rounding this up to $15 and it's taking this off before tax and here's our tax and it looks like this coupon is working correctly Okay, now this isn't too crazy uh, compared to what we did last time. In fact, it's pretty much uh, very similar except for using a percent discount instead of a shipping. Um, but it's, it's just one more tool in your arsenal. In the next tutorial, we're going to use some of those conditions. We're still going to keep it within the uh, shopping cart price rules like we're doing right now. But we're going to make something nice and cool. Okay, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.